Hey, UAV Futures, so you want to be professional, huh? Welcome to my vehicle where we have lots of professional things in the back. Let's take a closer look. All right, so first things first, we have some chairs for sitting down. I got a tripod for setting up some camera shots. Uh, we'll get to this in a minute. Uh, in the big yellow box is where all the magic happens. Uh, on the right hand side is where we got goggles. Up top, we have the Tiny Hawk. I love it when a quad comes in a case because I can keep all the props and extra bits and stuff in here. Uh, I love I love it when a quad comes with a case. Thank you, Emacs. More quads with cases. Next, uh, we have this five inch quad. Cool. We have a charger. Get to that in a minute. Uh, got a bag of lipos. Never enough lipos. Uh, also have Beta FPV Light Radio 2 with an antenna mod. It's a simple little solution. It doesn't work the best, but it works. Uh, have a YouTube uh, uh, or a uh, it's just a microphone for your phone. Lots of extra props, lots of extra arms. Uh, here's some more extra arms and some other goodies, parts for quads. Here's the goggles. Now these goggles are the Ishin EV300Ds. Bear with me while I open this. Oh my goodness, one-handed. There they are. Now a lot of people have complained about uh, lag in these. I don't see it, although mine does have the latest and greatest firmware. Uh, it does have four antennas, so we pop those on every time. It comes with a USB cable, so I plug the USB cable into uh, this little USB battery bank that just stays in my pocket, and that is convenient for keeping these things charged because these goggles just suck down batteries like crazy. Got some zip ties and odds and ends, some more Tiny Hawk propellers. Never go home without your electrical tape. And this is my favorite piece. Uh, this is a Leatherman with some other tools stuffed into it. Uh, I have a little monkey wrench and a few uh, hex wrenches as well. So this thing does practically everything whenever anything wrong happens. Over here I have a uh, jump start kit. This is for a car. And uh, this thing has a 20 amp hour lead acid battery in it. It says it's, it says it's all juiced up. Uh, it, it will probably charge up my 4S packs once each. And I have three of those. So uh, it's, it'll, it'll be okay. Um, I really normally would ch run this charger off of uh, the car uh, up there on the AC port, but I don't have, or the DC port, but I don't have an adapter for that right now. We'll make one. Oh man, I almost forgot to show this. This is the ever important drone retrieval rope. If you ever get your drone stuck in a tree, which you will, you simply take this out and you swing it around and throw it up in a tree and you'll be able to yank your drone out. So that's what Fitz has in his kit. What do you have in yours?